So I've been really bored this whole day, which has been nice. Like, you know, like not much going on and that feels good. But like I decided to hand wash my swimsuits and then I like posted a picture of it. And then like I posted a picture of my sports bra. And obviously like look at the water, like it's not clear. And I guess I asked my mom about it. So I was like, oh my God, Eve, look at the water. And then she says it looks more like some of the fabric wasn't washed enough so like the coloring was bleeding into the water but when you think about it it looks disgusting like it's my sweat that made it so gross <laughs> and then also i posted it like what, what is it? mom oh <laughs> love you mom bye my mom left, but she forgot something, so she came back. But And I was like, who's here? So I was like, uh, then I was like debating this. Like, do I post it? Do I not? Like, But of course, you know, knowing me, I posted it. And then right away, somebody commented, like, why are you posting this? And I got so embarrassed. So I still kept up the swimsuit picture, but I deleted the sports bra one. Just to clarify, this is not the intro because I just, I can't do that to myself because this is the exact same thing I was wearing in the intro to my last video. And it's not just because they're like filmed separately. It's like the fact that I've been wearing this for like four days straight. So I don't want to expose myself like that. So this is not the intro, okay? Like here's the intro. Okay, no, that was a terrible intro as well because it makes me look like I live in squalor and that I take estrogen. <laughs> I'm a slob, okay? Okay, so I actually want to put you guys up on here and talk to you guys because last vlog, I told you that I kind of got to the bottom of why I was so upset. I was crying to my boyfriend after filming and it wasn't even a bad filming day, but to me it was like, I was being so hard on myself and that's been like a continuous thing. Like I'm so hard on myself and I figured it out. I told you I figured it out. Then I didn't tell you, but like this vlog is about mental health. You know? So here's a little story time. So, I'm trying my best like how to say it without like having this huge scope of things because I don't want to be repetitive like I feel like I've talked enough about how you know I am being worse in front of the camera like it's taking multiple takes I'm tripping on my words and I think there's a lot of reasoning behind it like oh am I allowed to have that now is that mine yours in front of your thing oh okay I'll be right there my mom just made me a caprese salad <laughs> so in case you wanted to know. So I, where was I? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I've been really hard on myself, but like the weirdest thing about tripping on my words is that so many times I would come out of my room to hang out with my mom because I'm in quarantine with my mom. She's my roomie. <laughs> I love that. And we're already like best friends. We get along. She's my number one supporter or whatnot. But here I am continuously stopping my filming day, going out to hang out with my mom and crying because I'm so embarrassed that she's hearing me fumble on my words. And I don't know if it was me thinking like I'm a bad YouTuber as if not all YouTubers experience this. Like We all have off days. We're probably having a lot more off days because of the pandemic. But here I am crying to my mom, embarrassed, like, no other emotion but embarrassed that she's hearing me trip on my words and i think that is so dang weird and like it made her feel bad that i was telling her that and of course she thought that was also weird and then it kind of hit me i remember in high school my language disorder would always act up like if i was meeting somebody new if i raised my hand to ask something in class out loud giving a presentation french class oh every any type of foreign language oh terrible i would all of a sudden completely lose my confidence fumble on words lose even more confidence because i was so embarrassed and like this 
public humiliation. Like obviously I'm being triggered and I'm feeling things from high school and that's why it's hurting me more. So sure, like it's not gonna go away overnight like when you figure something out. And I still get frustrated. I kind of wanted to cry a couple times today, which always happens to be on my filming days. And I was messing up on filming from the very beginning of filming my entire day. Like, and I don't like it, but I think it just makes, like it makes sense. Like I take comfort in making sense of it. Okay, I want my caprese salad. <laughs> so then I'll film. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. If I don't finish my agenda, I swear, I will flip out and I will cry. <laughs> But okay, yeah, I'm gonna go eat. This is a friendly program interruption because I got some Critter Clip ears and I wanna do an unboxing. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I got fluorescent orange for the summertime and I really suggest that you check out Critter Clips because all throughout the year, they're always doing different initiatives, especially helping wildlife critters. <laughs> Look how cute I am. So just a little notes on Critter Clips for when you shop them is that everything is made by hand in the USA, Oakland, California and they give back to nonprofits who protect wildlife, human rights, and the environment. And right now, the lady who is making them, she is right now putting her efforts towards making masks to donate. Okay, that was it. These are cute. A play? Yeah, Nikki, do you wanna play? We can play. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here, kitty. I don't want you hitting the wall. Oh, hey, Nikki. Woo. Good morning. So uh, I guess I don't have anything too eventful to report because I'm in quarantine and like, where's the events that happen? In the <laughs> like nothing, nothing really big happens when you're in quarantine. But I'll tell you about little things. So this morning I woke up, I had a bad dream about the murder wasps and I keep having bad dreams in quarantine. So I don't know if you guys are like me. And then we had issues with the company and this time it was a delivery issue. But when we went to do some type of curbside pickup for them, like at the store where you just bring your car out to the parking lot to receive items, we looked and we realized that they were not, like nobody was social distancing. You are packed. And you're making people still sign for your orders inside. The employees did not feel safe. I felt so bad. They had like these handmade signs that they taped to themselves that were like, please don't come six feet near me. Like obviously scared people. I don't know. I guess I won't call them out. I'll be good. I'll be good, but I want to, but you know, whatever. I took all of those annoyances and frustrations and I put them in a creative outlet and I am giving my brand a makeover. I'm about to update my Instagram, like the stories, you know, how they have the visuals. And then I'll do um, my Patreon. Like I'm halfway done, but I'm going to finalize certain things with my Patreon on June 1st. So by the time you watch this vlog, you'll know if you visit my Patreon that one, it's super cute, it's super fun. And there's no longer a $1 tier. I am having a social distancing backyard edition date and I had the boy go get my raft back because it drifted off but now he's on the raft so <laughs> it's kind of cold though I this is the first time I've been this deep into the water but it's so hot outside it's just worth it we're just chilling though for today we're not really doing much and that's kind of how we like it where we're just talking me doing most of the talking of course <laughs> and um we're going to get dinner and I don't know this has just kind of been a routine thing that we do from time to time but it was rainy all last week so we didn't get to do it so now that the weather's looking good I think we're gonna be able to hang out twice this week you're drifting into my shot but it's okay if you don't mind it 
It's 4.35 and we figured we were getting too much sun because we're also sun newbies. So I have the umbrella popped up and we're just chilling. Um, we're kind of talking about dinner. I kind of want crawfish. <laughs> and I think, was it a crawfish sandwich? Right, you said poor, poor, po 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 boy, which is a crawfish. With, uh, it's a sandwich where you can get different things in and he's gonna get crawfish and his and then we were laughing about how funny it would be if they put like a whole boiled <laughs> shelled crawfish in the sandwich room neat. Hello, the social distancing date is still happening. The boy went to go get the crawfish, which I'm so excited about. Oh, just craving, digging into these little critters. Like that's half the fun of eating it is just knowing you're <laughs> I feel so bad about though, because when my boyfriend got into his car, this had exploded. It's just, it was unopened ginger ale, had a huge chemical reaction, I guess, because it's carbonated and it's so, so hot out. So it must've been in direct sunlight. It's already in metal, which absorbs and collects the heat. Just literally popped off. So he got into a car with a huge mess, like windshield, dashboard, seats, like everything is covered. So I feel really bad about that because it kind of puts a damper on the day, but he was pretty positive with everything. So here I am doing my duty and recycling it. Oh my gosh, guys. Ooh, look at my bikini. Ooh. Almost prepared. So I think I need to perk up the umbrella a little bit, but I have lots of napkins. I refilled both of our waters with extra ice because I don't know if his is going to be spicy or not. Let me open her up. And then I have these two bowls that you might recognize when I did the crawfish challenge video. Oh no, the napkins. <laughs> it's windy, but you know what? It's, it's really nice this evening now that the sun is going down behind some clouds. So of course, one is for the crawfish. The other one is for the shells after I've mangled them alive. Not alive, but you know. And then I actually, so since the boyf is all about good skincare <laughs> it sounds so weird but that's just the thing where like now that we started dating i'm always like wait you don't know about this lotion what about face lotion what about all this lotion like all this stuff and he's like oh my god i'm learning so much <laughs> it's like you know so it's just been really funny so now he got this for both of us and i've always seen this on shelves and i've never tried it and it went on really warm because he left this in his car but i will tell you it is smooth and it smells good and so far it feels very rejuvenating even though it was a little toasty <laughs> warm while going on my skin but my skin is also not super sunburned or at least i'm not feeling the effects right now so i still think i can recommend it i like it it feels good i still like it and i like the smell <sighs> so good so in case you were interested so far i give this an a plus so now i'm just kind of talking to you guys and waiting it out three pounds turbo crawfish this is so huge but the tin it comes in is perfect if i do want to save it and then this is the desi bon ton sauce i'm gonna pour it on <laughs> I think that was a fly. Ooh. I hate it when you're outside and something buzzes in your ear and you don't know if it's a wasp or a bee. I don't think we have as many bees right now. Last month we did on that bush, but because we have like a huge pool, wasps love to come here, float on top and drink some of the water. But I realized that I didn't say goodbye to you guys. And yes, I am wearing a swimsuit. Oh, it's so bright out. <laughs> I need to get my sunglasses on. But I wanted to tell you, thank you for watching and give you the official goodbye. Love you, mean it.